guys, what's up? Rajiv Rocks here with another tutorial for you today. Today we're going to learn how to make the rigid body to soft body uh, um, thingy, you know, that overflow to each other. So let's start by adding in a new project. I already did that. So put in a, a floor and the uh, background. Where's my background? Background. Yeah, baby. Okay. Uh, delete the. Uh, I'm going to delete this. Okay. Now I'm going to make um, color for the background and the and the thingy, you know, and the floor. So do that, and then add it to both the floor and the background. And then click on the floor. Right click. Uh, Cinema 4D tags, compositing, then uncheck self shadowing, uncheck composite to background. That will make, um, if you've seen my previous tutorial, that will make it uh, like seamless background, like this. Wait a second there, like that. Okay, okay, now um, going to the real deal here. Start by adding a sphere. Uh, take it up quite a bit actually, like that. And then change the segments of the sphere to 50. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm doing it because it looks a bit chunky if I render. Oh yeah, and uncheck the render perfect. I'm going to explain you later. And then um, change the type to icosahedron. This will make the bounce look more realistic because of the uh, layering of the segments. Okay, now click on the sphere, go to Cinema 4D tags, compositing tag. Oh, sorry, not compositing tag, what the hell am I talking about? And uh, delete that. Uh, go to sphere, click on it, go to oh, simulation, dynamic, and uh, create rigid body then um, make sure that dynamic is uh, on and then go to oh what the hell no and then go to floor simulation dynamics glider this will make the plane and then the floor a static object so the ball won't fall through and then and click the floor again and scroll all the way down to bounce and change the percentage of bounce to 100% go to sphere um forgot where that was okay bounce here at the sphere and change that bounce of the sphere to 100% too this will make it a continuous bounce like this Here it, it takes much longer. Okay, now um, let it play, and then at the point where you want it, stop it. Um, this is going to be a transition. Then click on the sphere tag, go to soft body, and then um, uh, click on this thingy right here next to the. Uh, soft body so click on the tag the the rigid body tag and then go to soft body on the sphere then go to this soft body uh, click control and then hit it now it's turning red so we have made a uh, yeah keyframe now uh, click on soft body go to made of polygons slash lines and now it's turning green so you can make uh, another keyframe just hit control and click and there you have it now we're going to change some values here to make it more realistic you know so go to springs and go to change it to 150 
leave this as it is go to shape conservation go and go and change the stiffness 6% and that's about it let's look let's watch let's watch the, let's watch the magic happen yeah I don't know why it's going so slow with my computer but it doesn't go as slow as it does on my computer as it goes on yours I have one, f one crappy computer but okay let's change the frame rate down and now go ahead copy the the sphere that you made drag it out and push it back push it push it back like that position it however you want I'm going to position it like this you know because I'm going to replicate my previous thingy okay change the radius of it to 50 uh, it doesn't need to be 50 segments I'm putting it back to 25 uh, copy uh, oh. copy and paste that sphere um, oh damn why doesn't it okay put it somewhere you like oh. come on work with me baby okay yeah sorry about this taking so long but my mouse is just freaking out you know I can't do squat about it look at the lineup of this oh. actually this one is too much there I'm going to um, pull this a bit closer to the sphere and then go back to a perspective view uh, yes, the segments are the same. Let's check it out. Check how it bounces. Yeah, sorry about this, man. It's just um, so sucky that my computer does this. Actually, if they if they land, you can see that they deform to soft body. Actually, I'm going to bump the frame ra frames up to 130 so that it um, happens longer okay let's um, texture this for pics where I had a uh, black then reflection turn reflection on texture for now uh, make it down to about 20% between 20 and 15% and then close out of that put it on your middle make another one um, well, we're already at reflection so first to the reflection texture for now about there it's right color make it not the same white as the as the background was you know actually you can leave it right at the default points you can change the colors if you want but I'm leaving it like this so let's add it to this and add it to this okay let's change the render settings here um, go to output change the to 720 720p I know the drill right anti-aliasing best um, hope animation I'm I've put this down for the video because my computer is really slow it can't render that good all this this is also for slow computers put the ray depth to se 6 reflection depth to 3 shadow depth to 6 and tick to burn blurriness off go to effect ambient occlusion uh, global illumination click on ambient occlusion um, maximum ray length put that to 150 contrast put the contrast to 40 
and then global illumination change this to full animation IR plus QMC full animation um, I'm put primary I'm going to put primary intention up to 200% I don't know what you like uh, radiant K create change the first two to low this is for slow computers you know because I have a crappy computer okay um yes that's it right okay oh okay I'm going to add a softbox from grayscale gorilla check him out if you don't know him he makes great stuff okay now let's play it for, let's make it play for a bit okay let's stop it there and render you can see it takes a bit longer but the it's much better see I actually do like this much more than my original one so maybe you can keep it I don't know so um, I just want to make some announcements I've changed my name a lot in this um, in these few tutorials but I'm going to stick with Chief Rocks I don't know why I like this name so it's easier to uh, if you want to contact me to, um, to take that in so and it's also my PSN name if you want to add me Rajiv Rocks just add me with a capital letter R oh and guys um, I'm, c I'm going to buy a um, game capture device you know so that I'm going to uh, so I can uh, record let's plays online gameplay you know uh, let's leave your uh, thoughts in the comment section how do you think about that you know so um, I can um, I can make my decision on buying it or buying it not, but I'm most definitely going to buy it either way. So, thanks for watching. Please, thumbs up and uh, subscribe, please. Comment, you know, drill. Okay, bye guys. Peace.